Hello and welcome to this demo. I'm going to show you how to set up a camera with CamCloud. CamCloud is a cloud video monitoring system for homes and small business and we offer support for a wide variety of cameras including webcams and IP cameras. So I'm going to show you in this demo how to set up one of these types of cameras with CamCloud and once you do that you'll be able to access all the services provided by CamCloud including uh, live access or live video viewing uh, from the camera, uh, cloud storage for any uh, recorded motion events, as well as a variety of other features. So let's get started with the demo and I'll show you how to add a camera. First thing you need to do is go to the cameras page which is where we are right now and you'll immediately see there's a uh, really three different panes or areas on the page. Uh, the first is the global motion detection uh, pane or window. Uh, this allows you to essentially arm or disarm the CamCloud system. Uh, so that'll turn off motion detection uh, across all your cameras or of course turn on motion detection uh, across all your cameras. This is great if you're coming or going from your premises or from the location that's being monitored. Maybe you don't want motion detection turned on. Add camera. We're going to spend most of our time on this feature uh, and this uh, capability on this page. Uh, this actually launches a wizard which I'll walk you through in a moment. And if you have any existing cameras they would show up here in your camera list. Uh, this is all the existing cameras that you've enabled uh, with CamCloud uh, and you can go and you can delete the cameras here, you can edit the camera settings uh, and they're always available in your camera list. So let's get started and launch the wizard. So Obviously you press add camera, the wizard opens and it's a web-based wizard and all of the available cameras uh, that we support uh, are selectable here. You can uh, add everything from a webcam, this would be a USB connected cam or uh, one of these built-in webcams you see on many laptops. Uh, you can add that type of camera and monitor uh, using a low-cost webcam using CamCloud which is very handy. Uh, we support Axis, FosCam, uh, and a variety of other types of cameras. So for this demo though I'm going to go ahead and add a FOSCAM camera and in my case it's 9821P so I go ahead and pick my model and as you can see this is all uh, easily uh, an easy to use wizard with all the models available that we support so it kind of walks you through the entire process. And then I need to give the camera a name and this is just any name. Uh, in my case the camera is pointed at a parking lot uh, so lo and behold I'm going to call it a parking lot camera. Uh, and then if you're not sure about any of these settings there's uh, the help, the quick help uh, accessible here at any time. And then the next step is some network settings. So CamCloud needs to access the camera uh, from the internet uh, so we require a few different settings uh, in order to be able to do that uh, and they are all right here. And again, this wizard really just walks you down the garden path, so to speak, to make sure you don't make any uh, mistakes. Uh, there's one option here that's worth discussing. This is the auto setup. For many camera types, including FOSCAM, uh, we have an auto setup feature. And what this does is we will automatically configure the camera for you and push the settings down to uh, the device uh, from our cloud. Uh, so that's very handy and gets you going with uh, some default settings uh, right out of the box. And so most people uh, select auto setup. And in fact, that's what we recommend. Now, uh, there, we have a lot of customers that really know IP cameras well. And they say, no, no, I don't want CamCloud to do all that for me. So you can turn that off and it'll take you down a slightly different uh, uh, series of options. Uh, but for this demo, I'm going to leave it on because you know what? It is convenient. And so then I put in the password and then I press next. Now here, just to clarify, what I'm doing is I'm putting in the username of the camera and the password of the camera. So this is not your CamCloud account. These are uh, credentials for the camera. Well, there's a mistake here. And so what we do at this step is we test to ensure that we're able to successfully connect to the camera. This makes sure that your settings are correct and that we're able to use them. And in my case, I obviously made a mistake. So we're going to try that again. 
and as it turns out I didn't even give it the right port number so I'm going to give it the right port number as well uh, and so as you can see here there's a network setup error that's explaining um, that it's not able to connect to the camera so we're going to try that again with hopefully the correct set of credentials and boom once you have the correct set of credentials you see how fast that is I'm uh, connected to the camera and we're all ready to go so at this point what this means is that Camp Cloud's uh, successfully established a network connection to the camera and again the wizards really walking you down uh, the settings or the uh, available options to do that now we're at the settings page and so here uh, again these are all the available settings that you can configure from cam cloud uh, and we have a little explanation uh, hover explanation here to walk you through uh, these settings uh, but in my case I'm gonna really leave most of these as is so you can turn motion detection on or off at an individual camera level as well as uh, across all your cameras with the global motion button we talked about earlier uh, notifications is a great one so we have push notifications for your mobile apps uh, as well as email notifications and you can turn those on or off and then this is one uh, called capture mode that's interesting so many cameras uh, are able to uh, record when there's a motion event they're able to record images or video uh, and uh, in our case what we can do is actually accept both uh, from the cameras so I like the ability to have both so when there is a motion event I'm going to be capturing uh, snapshot images as well as video to make sure I don't miss uh, the motion event the important motion event and that's really it and so then I press finish and as you see my parking lot camera is now added to my camera list and I'm ready to start monitoring thanks for watching